You want a decent speaker, huh? Do you? Well, this is a decent speaker. It sounds good. It doesn't really have any idiosyncrasies, and you just generally can't complain. The looks aren't very exciting, but neither is something that just does everything well. In a way, this is what minimalism strives to be. This speaker is that high school kid who nobody has anything bad to say about. You can't really remember his name, but he seems like a good guy who has some decent friends, gets good grades, and just generally doesn't do anything to stand out. This speaker is for a man who doesn't bring much attention to himself, or need the glamour to feed into his self-worth. Maybe he has a man cave that his wife let him put together. It's his safe space where he can relax. It's not really a gathering spot for parties, but maybe he gets one or two close friends to come visit him. He is comfortable that he may not be the most popular guy on the block. He isn't worried about that. He doesn't worry about offending people because it just never becomes an issue. He just didn't really stand out. And that's fine. He isn't exactly a minimalist, he just doesn't really care about showing things off. These speakers would look right at home in one of those old basements you think of from the 70s to the 90s. You know, those ones with the exposed wood walls. Beveled vertical planks that have some dark stain on them that gives them that comforting orange-brown wood color. They revel in the time that they were originally designed. They just sit there comfortably across the room from that white couch with the floral pattern. Or maybe it was one of those brown couches with the corduroy fabric that never really seemed clean to begin with, but it hides the stains well enough. The family never updated the basement because why spend all that money and energy? There's no need. It's still comfy down there. It feels like it would be just such a waste to rip all of that out and cover it up. It might smell a little stuffy down there, but it just plays into the aesthetic. One of the biggest issues with these speakers is the space requirement. This wouldn't be so bad if they were easy to move and had a more elegant design, but they don't. Minimalism works because it helps people organize their life and finds places for their belongings. Unfortunately, even though these speakers don't call out to themselves, they still need to stand out into the room. They need to have space from the walls, and that doesn't really work when there are these big towers that do take up space. So. What's behind that sock that hides all the goodies? Well, it's a three-way speaker with a decent amount going for it. Unlike many speakers of the era, the rubber surrounds for the woofer and the mid-range driver both are made out of a good rubber rather than a foam, meaning they will last the test of time. And these speakers have lasted the test of time already. They don't really have the cracking issues that other foams had from the era and are generally likely to be zero maintenance. The same story exists with that domed style tweeter. Never really needs any work to keep it working at its best. It kind of seems like Richard Vandersteen designed these speakers to be the ones you purchase when you don't want to worry about hi-fi and just have something that you make the fuss once finding it, but then you have it. You don't replace it. You don't need to upgrade. It's just good enough and never asks anything of itself. As I mentioned before, these speakers don't really do anything wrong sound-wise. They are detailed enough that you get to enjoy the small parts of songs, but not so detailed that you find yourself fatigued from listening too much. The bass is lush and plentiful, and it easily pairs with a sub to make even richer slam if that's what you want. 
mid-range has great detail and is very present. Vocals sound great, dialogue in movies even works fantastic. The upper range is detailed enough. The sound as a whole is very cohesive, just as Banderstein touts in their marketing material. The resulting sound becomes a single unit instead of parts that add together, and the result is a sound that is just very pleasing to listen to, and provides practically anything you want. These speakers might not stand out as doing anything particularly amazing, but they do everything just right enough that they could be the last speaker you ever buy.